Almost every practice has a slow season. Whether it's a summer slump or clients get too busy around the holidays to schedule, you're likely to have a dip in sessions at some point. This can cause your income source to become unstable. But don't panic. Embrace the chance to engage in other revenue-generating activities and diversify your income. I'm Heather from the Therapy Node Success Team, and in this video, we'll look at five ways to diversify your income in private practice, as shared with us by group practice owner and business coach, Dr. Ajeta Robinson. But first, be sure to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Therapy Notes. Number one, create courses. Maybe you find yourself being tagged in Facebook groups to weigh in on a topic, or you may even know people across the country who are interested in being trained in an area that you have advanced knowledge or skills in. Creating a course can increase the content's accessibility for those who need it. Number two, host webinars. Webinars are an excellent way to share information and provide live engagement. They give the audience an opportunity to ask questions and receive feedback. Webinars can be hosted live or offered as a self-paced course. It's another way to educate the general public on a topic that is of interest to them, as well as provide value and a sense of support. Number three, sublease office space. Maximizing office space to generate revenue is an area that's easy to overlook. Dr. Robinson explains that her clinicians don't see clients on the weekends, so they rent their conference room out one Saturday per month to a local women's group and a local engineering group, which they found through their local chamber of commerce. The revenue that they receive from subleasing their office to freeze one-fourth of the office space costs. Are there any hours in your office that aren't being utilized? If so, this may be an option for you. Number four, create workbooks. Do you already create activities to use with clients or modify exercises to serve your niche? You can use these to design templates and compile the content to use with clients to create workbooks or other resources. Once the tools are tested and validated, they can be sold for additional revenue. Number five, become a consultant or trainer. For example, Dr. Robinson secured consulting and training contracts with over 80 camps, providing a variety of training to their staff and camp counselors as well as local, public, and private schools to provide professional development workshops and help create crisis response protocols. These are skills that you may already utilize daily with clients that can be expanded upon for additional income. There are many ways to diversify your income, but it may feel daunting to get started. So here are some practical tips. First, identify the low-hanging fruit. What are you already known for and who can best benefit from that service or skill? Second, Recognize who needs that skill or service. It's important to understand that there's a difference between your customer, who pays for your service, and your consumer, who benefits or uses the service. Third, identify who the decision maker is and how they best receive information to make their decisions. Decision makers are often data-driven, which is helpful to know in preparing for the conversation on how to best lend your expertise. Finally, determine how the information is best absorbed by your audience. What is the learning style that your participants most likely will benefit from? This should help you determine the best method of delivery, whether that be a webinar, workbook, course, or other option. Do you have other ways that you diversify your practice's income? Tell us in the comments. That's all for this video. To keep up with our latest content and videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching.